You guys give up on Tony Visage. Right. Now one more guy, Tony Visage. Right. And thank you for keeping your applause going almost like I got to the microphone. That was <laughs> your energy is astounding. It's a full moon, it's Valentine's weekend, and you're sitting up with uh, yeah, yeah. Do you see that moon? It's like incredible, isn't it? And, the, and there's gonna be an eclipse? Isn't that what he said? There's gonna be an eclipse? I, I don't know when, I'm not that weather guy, you know, but I, when, when, that was, what? Somebody knew, did somebody say when it was? It's a comet or something? Are we just shouting out random shit now? It's a full moon, when? It's a comet! I never loved my uncle, what? 940? Wait, right now we're getting a lot of numbers. It's a comet, full moon, 940, 6 gets 5. 9.40 p.m. will be the eclipse. At 9.40. Did you guys get together and plan this before I got up here? We'll just shout out. With, and there's also going to be comments. Is that, ma'am, I'm talking to you for God's sakes. Um, there's going to be comments too, right? So, this is the closest the most married men get to foreplay in their entire marriage. We'll take you to a show on Friday and candy on Sunday, flowers on Tuesday, and, uh, and you can't buy parking lot flowers anymore. For a couple of years, we were able to pull that off. That last minute thing, you know what I'm talking about? Where you come home, you go. Just stop at the store. We don't stay here. You should always stop at stoplights, ma'am. <laughs> so there's parking lot flowers. They, they finally, for, for guys, because we forget, do you, are you married, sir? You're married to that woman? <laughs> You never know. You never know nowadays. Things are so crazy. It is empty. Far out. And so that's your wife? This would be my wife. This would be your wife? Except? <laughs> <laughs> except my wife is at home. <laughs> no pictures, no pictures, no cameras. She's my niece. She works for me, an assistant. It's a business trip. Shut up. It's an expense. Because she's... What? Oh, Jesus Christ, Gert's heckling me. <laughs> well, will someone take Gert in the back and do whatever Gert does in the back? She grabbed my ass on the way up here. I'd like to point that out. What's that? Go ahead, man. No, go ahead. We, we, you, if you want to play, we'll play. But not the way you want to play. What did you say? Yeah, luckily I have something to grab. Okay, if you're gonna shout out stuff, it's gotta be funny stuff. <laughs> luckily you have something to grab. What are you, like my uncle? You should be quiet to have an ass. When I was young, I had to sell my ass so we could come to America. I came to America assless. I had to sew an ass on in the Brooklyn, in the Bronx. In the Bronx, I sewed on one ass cheek, and in Brooklyn, I sewed on another one. We came out to Missouri, and they stole my ass. We came to California, I got a plastic ass. And then I sold plastics, I became a millionaire. Assless plastics, that's what I created. Get out of the hook. You pipe down. <laughs> this is your wife. Just say yes, it's so simple. Just say, I do. We, huh? No, we never establish it because you've been a little nefarious about it. You're, this would be my wife. It could be my wife. Would you, could you be my wife? Is the doctor Seuss of marriages over here. Would you, could you, Sam, meet this girl if you can? I would not, could not, Sam, because I cannot stay up all night with a good-looking chick like this with great-looking gams. All right, what do you want? What do you want? I knew your husband, I knew Ralph, he was a wonder. And Ralph was quiet, I'd like to say that about Ralph. <laughs> Ralph, let me do my show. I had my husband. I had 72 wonderful years. 72 years. Do you know them? You're supposed to be on my side, I'm the one writing the checks. Okay, all right. Kurt, there's someone's calling in the bed. <laughs> They've got cookies. <laughs> this was not planned. I mean, I, I'm being nice to her. What did I ever do to you that you're going to sit there and heckle me? I'm just, I'm trying to get through this and get home and get, you know,
know, watch cable. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm 61. I'm looking to tell a half hour of jokes and go home. Jeopardy for you. Yeah. <laughs> she, it's true. She, like, called me, like, uh, she said that I heard her. I hadn't heard of her. Uh, but she called me, like, ten times. I had a big... No, I did not call you. Her. <laughs> I'm 61, and I think I remember things more than you, whatever the hell your name is. <laughs> well, I, I know what the problem is. You won't shut up during my act. <laughs> the problem is that you don't remember as much as I do. No, I don't. You make stuff up. That's the problem. <laughs> No, you cannot get messages from me. I had never heard of you. It wasn't me. I'm glad I met you, but it was, I didn't start this. No, no, no. That is not what happened. Can I tell the story? Man, I tell the story. Now, no one's gonna be on my side. No one's my friend anymore. No, we're, we're, we're with Gert. Who are you, mean old man? With your ponytail? Huh? Yeah, you make a photo of her. <laughs> no, no one called you for the ever. You, uh, you know what? We pursued you for years. We heard about you 20 or 30 years ago. Yeah, you were. Yes. Ralph used to tell me he used to go. She, she just makes shit up, Tom. <laughs> Because I love her, but she just makes crap up every day, I swear to God. It scares me, Tony, it scares me. You getting chewing tobacco? She won't let me chew tobacco, Tony. We have million years out of it and never come back to the club. We went there to see a show and we I can't wait till I've been married 72 years. Here's how I remember it. Here's how I... Did we cut your time short tonight? <laughs> so we had heard of her back in 1981. We pursued her for many years. We crawled across mountains on our hands and knees. So our arms were just bloody stumps. We showed up at her door. Here's, I remember, I don't know who was calling you from that club, which I won't say from this stage because I'm selling shows in this club and not in that club, even though I like that club. And there's no sense in mentioning that club when I'm trying to sell shows at this club. However, somebody from there came back into my office and said, you should call this woman. And they gave me, and, and you were in like a stack of like about 100 comics who were calling me at the time, looking to get booked into shows because I book shows, I do shows. Not by myself any longer, but um, <laughs> apparently I'm a duo now. <laughs> I was a solo act, <laughs> and all of a sudden I'm, I'm Burns and Allen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was talking to Gracie backstage. Um, so, who's who? <laughs> what the hell did that mean? <laughs> Do you think she's she's the George Burns one? And I'm the Gracie Allen? Just checking. You're just checking? You're drunk, aren't you? <laughs> You're a drunken woman. You guys are married too, aren't you? Yeah. See them, I can look at you and I go, they might be going out. Them, I look at them and go, they're married. I never, I was standing in the lobby of that club and I felt a tug on my, uh, on my sh uh, shirt sleeve and I looked and there was no one at eye level. <laughs> And I looked down, and there was Gert, and a gentleman standing over next to her, a very nice man named Ralph, her husband. And she goes, I'm very funny. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm standing there going, oh, okay. And I, and I, yeah, that's you, whatever you're doing for a living, and then all of a sudden, you know, an older woman's grabbing you by the shirt going, I'm very funny. It's a frightening moment, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you know, and uh, um, so I said, yeah. And she goes, you should put me on, I'm very funny. And I just looked around, all right, what are you doing tomorrow night? I gave him on, you know, like 15 new comics. We were trying out all these new comics. And I thought, it won't hurt. Put her on for a couple minutes. It'll be cute, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she went up and she blew the room away. She did. You should give her a hand because she was funnier than anyone on the show that night and who started booking her on a regular basis. So before Gert goes, and she's going, uh, <laughs> Steve Harvey show. 
Kurt wants me on the Steve Harvey Show. Now, I've been writing the Steve Harvey Show on a regular basis and getting no response. So if you guys want to help me with this, I don't know how this show became this. If you want to help me with this, uh, uh, you should go on the internet, find the Steve Harvey Show or HC Productions. Our HC production can write them and give them a little blurb about Gert and tell her, tell her that you saw her in Tempe and tell, tell her her story, that you, some of you know her story. You know, she came here from Nazi-occupied Austria in the 30s. She escaped from... Hitler was your travel agent. Hitler was your travel agent. Good. He should have stuck to that gig. I know another guy who should be a travel agent right now. <laughs> I didn't say who. Hey. Okay, but I think my joke trumps yours. So, um... <laughs> thank you. May, may I continue now? May I do my little, my little skit now, Gert? I, I will teach you. She's telling me what jokes to do. It's like my mother's here. You should tell the joke about the... That's a nice joke. If you tell, not those other jokes. Those are bad jokes. Oh. <laughs> I will do, I will close with that joke. Although, I would tell you, I wrote a joke, uh, I wrote a set with a lot of jokes about marriage and relationships that I was going to do for these folks because it's Valentine's weekend and that's what we told them it was a Valentine's show. That's the big end. No, they couldn't get this for seventy thousand dollars. Where would they want to? Get it, no matter what, for this kind of money, this kind of show, we're going to collect the difference by the door. <laughs> now you're talking my language, Gert. You've been uh, you've been drinking again, haven't you? Both well, that works in my favor. Um, no, I love you too. So where was I? Oh, you two. So, so uh, but I'm glad to be standing, you know, and uh, be having an entire show where I was heckled by one of my other, if it was any other comic, I would kill you. I didn't, but I love you so much. The, you know who's the happiest people in the room are? These two people right here. This guy. Huh? I'm not finished yet, Kurt. And if you keep talking to me, I never will. I don't need No, we're not related. I just I'm the only person who'll talk to her anymore. I had some new jokes I was gonna do. Look, I fun. If you guys had a good time, if you had fun, you just guys you'll, you'll never get this experience again. I guarantee it. Yeah, I know, Gert. I know. It's because they can't hear you. Yes, they can. <laughs> they can't. She can hear. Yeah. This woman's like yours. This woman hates me. She hates me and she loves you. Why do you hate me? What the hell did I ever do to you? She does. I just love her. You just love her. You go. You give her a ride home tonight. <laughs> He's driving. <laughs> Kick her out. Take her. She's a lot of fun. <laughs> he's, he's kind of buying it. <laughs> you never drove in your life. Yeah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> you're, you're not going to shut up, are you, girl? You've been overtaken by some sort of demon spirit tonight. <laughs> I don't think I started out struggling or anybody thought I needed help. I just started to lope into the act. I, you know, if you keep it up, I'm not going to do your famous, the one day, the bit that you love so much. If you keep it up, no, go ahead. Huh? Just do it. <laughs> I got a 95 year old woman saying to me, just do it. <laughs> and at 61, I'm going, you know, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, 
Yeah, I am here. By the way, there should be applause. Uh, and my wife's here. She's not helping me. My wife's going, this is what you get. Thank um, <laughs> you. Reporting the entire proceeding. Sometimes when you think is the worst day of your life turns out to be the best day of your life. And that's true. Like this show will probably turn out to be the best day of my life. But um, uh, many years ago, I was, uh, I was, I don't know if any of you ever, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Tony Visit, Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you very much.